Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my neighbors must think I am crazy. I am in the middle of painting the outside of the house and we have just primed the house and it is this glaring bright neon white and my neighbors must be like, what is this woman thinking? So today in the video, I'm gonna share with you the progress on the outside of the house. This is the house that I bought to sell eBay out of and I'm kind of documenting the progress with the house. Now I have renovated the whole inside of the house and most of the mechanics, the roof, all of that kind of stuff has been upgraded. I've done a lot of landscaping, fenced in the yard, and now we are painting the outside of the house. So I'm gonna share some of that with you guys. We're also gonna take a trip to Goodwill, and I'm probably gonna pull some shipping in the basement. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's see where this video takes us. I never know what time it is. How? Five, almost 5.30. 5.30, and we are at Goodwill, Exton, Pennsylvania. I have brought you guys here before. I don't usually find a lot in this Goodwill, but I figured I'd take the camera out and give you a little snapshot of what this Goodwill looks like. And today is, what is today? It's not $2 day on Fridays. It's just the normal half price on certain colors. And this color is red. So anything red tag, I think that includes everything, is gonna be half price. So let's go in and take a look. So because it's so late in the day, most times when I come into a store like this, I shoot right for the new inventory, the last inventory to come out on the floor. And here is a pair of Weijins. These are bass loafers. Let's take a look at these. 11.47, not a horrible price. I'd rather buy these for, I'm gonna say $8. But for now, I'm gonna put them in the cart and think about them because they're in fairly good shape. I wish they were red tag, that would have been good. But we're gonna put those in the cart. Let's see what else we can find. Steve Madden, who's making these? Oh, another pair of Weijins. We're gonna go ahead and grab them. Are they the same price? They are, ouch. <laughs> These are women's, but really nice condition. Penny loafer. And I'll probably get a solid 35 for these. So two pairs of Weijins. Now that's what I love about being a seller who sells pretty much anything. Oh, another pair of Weijins, but look at the wear on that toe. Wow, somebody has a serious lean there. 947. Um, I really like not having a set niche because that way if I come into a store, I have a wide variety of items that I'm looking for, and I can usually find something I'm going to buy for resale. Looks like some Thomas Kincaid pictures down there. Let's pull those out and take a look. Okay, $6.99, Thomas Kincaid. Ah, I'm not really thrilled with these. I mean, they're prints. They're double matted. The matting is around the print itself. Frame is nice, but... I don't know that I'm really that thrilled with those. I'm going to leave those behind. Here's three blue bins. Hopefully we'll be able to find something. Let's see what's going on in these bins. A wood lamp. Hmm. I am also on the hunt for a lampshade for my living room. <laughs> That's the great thing about being a reseller. You can find stuff for your own purpose. What is this? Astrobrites. Oh, it's paper in an orange color. Don't think I need that. I would have bought it if it was white. I use a ton of paper. What is all of this in here? Arctic air, pure chill. Oh, it's like a little personal mini cool your space air conditioner. Runs up to 10 hours no matter where you're sitting. Interesting. I don't know that I want those. $2.99. Boy, that's a good price. Oh, it says as is. wonder if that works or not. Maybe they mean because the box is taped. I guess I should run a comp on those. And the third blue bin. Oh, tables. This is a tile pattern, like a sunshine. $15. That's not a bad price if you need little outdoor tables. But at this point, I'm putting my outdoor furniture away. Okay. A bag by somebody, can't pronounce that, Luxia. Seems okay, but it seems like an off-brand. What is this picture here? Let's take a look at this. Oh, it's like a photograph somebody took in sepia. 
I'm not even sure what that's of. I don't care for that at all. Here's another picture. Okay, I've seen that before. I think that's home interiors. All right, so nothing in the bins, a bust. Let's keep going. Okay, you can tell we're in Goodwill because everything is divided or organized by color. I think every Goodwill in Pennsylvania is that way. This looks like an off-brand. I'm gonna flip this over if I can without breaking it and see who this is. Fruit, oven to table, cookware. And what do they want for it? $4.99. It's not a bad price. This looks like Corel. Is that Corel? No, it's not. It's Fisher. Lots of china and dishes. I try my very best not to pick up any sets of dishes anymore. I'm doing pretty good lately. I think I've picked up a little bit of Limoges, not too bad. But the full sets of dishes days is gone for me. I used to pick up hundreds of dishes and they did sell, but they took so much work in packing. This is Lennox. This is Poppy's Rainbow. It's a mauve color. Very 90s. Look at that color. I'm not sure what's going on in this little shoe box. They have this so tape you can't even look at it. I do see the teapot has a little bit of chipping, but I like this color. It's a very Chinese red. I think that's an actual color of red. Okay, everybody's been struggling with this. You can't even get this out. All right, let's see if I can, oh my goodness, so hard. There is no branding on it, but I have to say there's something about this I like. $6.99, it's the very round shape. If you guys recognize who makes this, I don't think it's Sanyo or Sango. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, got it off. I'm unable to even open this. Come on, little sugar bowl. Okay, so it is the teapot, the sugar bowl, two cups and saucers. You know what color this is? Tomato red, that's what I would call it. And I really like this. I like the shape of it but I don't like that there is no creamer and I don't like the chip, or I probably would have bought this, no name at all. Very pretty, but with damage, that would be a no. Okay, we are on the pink purple mishmash aisle. <laughs> a real mix going on. And look at these little mice. Oh my goodness, these are adorable. I think this is a Nesco maybe. Not even sure who this is. Let me try to squint and see for us. I'm not sure what that says. Um, uh, Manesco, 1982. Oh, these are really sweet. Okay, I don't think these bring any kind of money. There's the Unesco gold tag, $1.99 each, but so adorable. Look at those little mice. How cute are those? I don't imagine those would bring more than 4 or $5, if that. I'm gonna leave them on the shelf. Goodbye, little mice. Okay, that's kind of pretty. Hand-painted Portugal. Found a lot of Portugal uh, pottery today. That's kind of pretty, does have a chip. Let me just say at the last thrift store, at the very end, I think I picked up like five pairs of boots. So I'll have to include some footage of what I picked up because I don't think I caught that on camera. And I wanted to show you guys what brands of boots I'm buying. And here, the minute we get in the store, I've got two pairs of shoes. It's a leather footwear kind of day. And here is the non-eventful black aisle. <laughs> Unless you're buying electronics, I'm not quite sure what else is found on the black aisle. Have I bought anything black in the past year? I feel like that would be a no. I don't remember, though. Okay, let's see what this loan mug is about. LCBC. That's what that's about. What is this? I have no idea what that is, not a clue. Nighthawk, 450 lumens, keep your home safe and secure. Super bright, oh, it's a spotlight. Okay, and how much do they want for this new spotlight? $2.99 as is. Okay, I don't feel safe about that. Green Isle turning around. What is this little thing? It's amazing how many, oh, it's a votive holder in case you want to light up your little scene here with birdhouses. <laughs> it's amazing how much stuff is made for resale, $2.99, or for sale, I should say. Okay, anything else? I think that is it on this aisle. 
Let's keep going. Sorry Express. In case you want to be sorry on the run. I guess the little dice are in there. Roll the dice to start a pawn swapping frenzy. Let's try to get this open and see if the game is in here because Roger is somewhere. Roger loves selling games. Okay, I'm going to bring this to Roger and see if he wants it. I don't know where he's off to. I think he's over in clothing or sporting goods. I'm going to take a quick peek at the Christmas section. I am not ready for Christmas. I'm not even ready for Thanksgiving. I'm not ready for Halloween. I'm ready for summer. Can we please have summer back? <laughs> You know, the first snowfall I love, and then I'm like, okay, give me my flip-flops. I've always been that way. Okay, these little candle holders are super cute. Little snowmen. Made in China, of course. $4 a piece. And he seems to have lost his little something or another. Is he a nutcracker? I'm not sure what's going on here. Yes, he's a nutcracker. I don't think they even go together. She looks much classier than he does. Just saying. Okay, Santa coasters, probably from, oh, Nancy made them. Not sure why Nancy's name is underneath them. Maybe they were like a favor or something. Okay, let's turn around the other side. What else is going on over here? Okay, this is really cute little ornament. Oh, I was hoping these were Christmas cards. I would have very much liked these as Christmas cards. But it is an empty box for $1.99 with no cards inside. Somehow I feel cheated. Oh, Kate Spade. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, I always shake the glasses cases. This is empty, and that could be a fake. Kate Spade is so heavily faked. So even the handbags or the clothing, you really have to be careful. Congress playing cards. Okay, they are unwrapped. And they're very tiny cards. Okay, did somebody glue these up there? What is going on here? This is not longer burger, but somebody did initial it. Maybe it's the person who put the shells on top. Because I really don't think those come with the shells. Oh, used to have potpourri in it. Glad I didn't spill it. Okay, this is some sort of picture frame magnet for the refrigerator. What is this here? Okay. Bab, somebody or another. Couldn't even tell you that last name. I'm not quite sure what that even is used for. So because I found the two pairs of shoes, I feel like it's a shoe day. So I'm starting to look at shoes and I come down this aisle and I see these boots and I'm like, oh, these look really familiar. What booties are these? And then I realize I'm wearing a pair. <laughs> Different brand, but... <laughs> It's been a long day. I thought they looked familiar. Okay, moving on. Let's see what else. Do we see any shoes? I have to say this Goodwill is a little scrappy. Still glad I stopped in. Oh, Talbots. Hmm. Uh, still glad I stopped in. I always like to see what's going on. Abercrombie. What else? But today is kind of a scrappy day. It is late in the day. It's very hard to find items when you get to a thrift store late, unless they're putting out new inventory, you know, up until they close at 9 o'clock. Then I love coming to the store late because a lot of people, you know, by 5, 6 o'clock are home. And a lot of times I have the whole thrift store to myself. I love that. Okay. Yellow tag. A2. These are aerosols. I like that red, though. Okay, I spotted these from across the store. My third pair of regions. These are bass, made in USA. Nine forty-seven. These seem to be in really nice condition. These are the Kilty um, tassel. So that's what that looks like. Those are going in my cart. And here's the second pair. I don't know why the regions are such a popular favorite with people, but they are. They're beautifully made. I have to say. 9.47, these look barely worn. Third pair of bass weegins going in the cart. What do we think of this little game? <sighs> Not sure what's going on with it. Nothing else good to play with grandkids. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Easy to carry in your car. What do they want for? $1.99. Yeah, that's a good do one. Do you know this one? Uh, the I'm, Express? I'm going to get it for us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, very fun. Grand and what's your purple jacket? I love it. 
children's? That's a children's, right? Yeah, it's the 550. Down yeah. Down. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah. And I'm sorry, what were they asking for it? 750. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, down. Nice, yep. Goose down. Yep, 550 fill. Nice and warm. Party pooper over there told me that there's more rhinestones missing than the ones I saw. <laughs> what do they call that, a fun sponge? <laughs> We're putting the Aldos back even though they're $4, but I really like this style. Mm -hmm. But I can't be gluing in replacement rhinestones on a $12 pair of sandals. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Hold up your game. <laughs> Exactly. You big fun. Sorry. Bunch of, sorry. <laughs> oh, did I get your foot? <laughs> okay, what are these over here? Oh, they feel very fake. Indigo. All right, what else? What else are we seeing? We're on the hunt. We're on a Basswegian loafer hunt. I can't even look at clothing. Can't even. Oh, what is that? Clemson Tigers. Is that women's? Yes, that's women's. Yeah, Dry that's fit. Good. $5.99. Yeah, Too bad it's not red tag. What does the back look like? Anything? Nothing, just plain. Yeah, All right, you want to throw your stuff in my cart or you get in your own cart? No, that's worth $5.99. That's why Roger dates me because I push the cart. <laughs> <laughs> but he drives us hours and hours all over Pennsylvania when we go thrifting. Are, oh, this is kind of pretty. Oh, $14.25. What? Like, These people are on drugs. Okay. Let's keep going with shoes. I don't know, somehow shoes is working in this store. So, you know, if I just bought glassware, or if I just bought pottery, or if I just bought one thing, you'd have to go to so many stores. But because I'm willing to sell pretty much anything that makes a profit, it has served me really well over the years. I might not know as much as other niche resellers, but you know what? It's okay, because somehow this is all working out really well for me. Up. Oh, what is this here? Okay, I don't know this. Oh, Sbago. Sbago. Yep, that's how to say that. 747. I'm going to say no to those. Who is this here? I don't know who this is. Huh. I have never heard of this. All right, we're leaving that behind. They look a little peely. Bass. But are they the Weegians? They are not. These are the regular bass loafers. So I'm gonna leave those. Okay, not that those wouldn't sell, but I do really well with the Weegian loafers. I notice that they sell a lot better than the regular loafers. Okay, what is going on in this aisle? Poor Lisa, when she edits this video, she's gonna have to cut out so much. Sorry, Lee. Okay, I don't see anything great here. These almost look like a ballet, don't they? Okay, I have finished looking at all of the shoes and the ones that I got are these pairs here, four pairs of Bass Weegians, and I have picked up Werther's Originals, the Cocoa Cream Caramels, because I'm addicted to these silly things, and I have totally lost Roger. I think he went home without me. <laughs> Just kidding, he's in here somewhere. The man can shop like no other man I know. So it is Sunday evening, early evening, probably about six. I'm going to pull shipping. These are the weekend solds. I'm not going to do all of them, but it's been a pretty good sales weekend. Let's get started. The first item is a free people women's sweatshirt, size medium. It sold for $29.40 and I bought it for $4.99. So we're going to look in medium sweatshirts, which will probably be in sweaters. If you're new here, this is the clothing side of the basement. This is where I keep most of the clothing that is completely packaged. The other side of the basement does have some racks that that inventory is once again waiting to be folded. Sometimes I fall a little behind if it's been a busy week and this week is no different. I am painting the outside of the house and I will be sure to include photos of what's going on with that. But first let's grab this free people woman sweatshirt. All right, size medium, purple. So here is the medium sweaters bin and these are the reds and pinks. That would have also purples. I categorize by how my brain considers it. Very scary. <laughs> and here it is, Free People Medium Sweatshirt Top. And we're just going to throw the cover back on that one. And I'm going to grab the phone behind me. And we're going to go on to item number two. Men's Timberland 
work boots, 13W. These are the wheat color, and they are leather. They're going to be over in boots, which is on this rack here. Let's just slide this rack out, everything on wheels. And let's get the Timberlands. I think I see them down there. So here are the Timberland boots. They do have quite a bit of wear. You can see the wear over here, and it has a scratch in the toe. Just general used condition, and they brought $47.99. Uh, what did I pay for these? I think I paid $9.99 for these. Item number three is a Tonala Mexican Sandstone Pottery Teapot. I haven't had this that long. And the buyer says, hi there, I'm buying this for my mom for her birthday, and she loves your videos. Let's see if I can click into this. She's a huge fan. Oh, thank you so much. We always watch your videos as soon as they come out. If you could, and no worries if you can't, could you maybe include a happy birthday message? It would mean so much to her. I would love to do that. I don't know her name, but happy birthday to your mom. Let's grab her Tanala teapot, which if I remember quickly, will be over here. Let's see, I have a few teapots and here it is here. Okay, try to carry that. Oh, isn't that a pretty one? I love Tanala pottery. I'm going to bring it in the light. It is a bird with flowers. Just beautiful. I don't often find Tanala teapots. Mostly I find the figurines, and this one sold for $26.40. All right, the next item we're pulling is Fate Women's Medium Top White Gauze Peasant Hippie Farmhouse Prairie. You know me, I'm all about keywords, and it's going to be in here because it's a medium and it's a solid. Let's see if I can grab this with one hand. Oh, it's a heavy one. Okay, we're going to bring this into the light. And here it is right here, Fate Medium. Well, that worked out well. All right, I'm just going to leave everything open, and we'll cover those at the very end. And let's put this on the table. Now, right before I turned the camera on, this table was loaded, and I've got all of that put away. So we have a nice, clean table to build up all of the inventory that's sold. Let's see what's next on the list. A swimsuit, size 32. It is a tank dress. So that's going to be in swimwear if it got folded down. Swimwear is over here. Swimwear. Let's see swimwear up here. Oh, oh, maybe I can lift this with one hand. I hope this doesn't make too much noise. I know you guys love seeing me pull inventory for some reason. Okay, and what did I say the brand name was? Swim 365. Looks to be black and white, maybe. What is this one? Verona. Nope, that's not it. Okay, if it's not in the bin, oh, here it is here. I was going to say it'll be on the clothing racks, which I didn't even take the covers off the racks tonight. Normally I pull all the covers off, but tonight I'm just trying to make this process go quick because tomorrow we are working on the house. Once again, Lisa and I are painting. All right, next up, Liverpool jeans. Oh, I'm sorry, swimsuit went for $23.10. And I don't remember what I paid for that. I'm going to guess 4 or $5. Liverpool jeans, women's. These are size 14, and they're a legging. Um, okay, so these are a legging. I'm going to go into the listing to see if this is really a pair of jeans. I don't think it is, even though it's called Liverpool jeans. So I would have put these, yeah, this is just a stretch career comfort um, legging. So I would have put it in regular pants. Size 14 is a large so pants large is this bin here, and I'm going to pull this one down. Okay, this one needed two hands, definitely. Pants are so heavy. All right, Liverpool Jeans Company. We are looking for a size 14 dark pair, Calvin Klein. Oh, these might be them here. Yes, Liverpool Jeans size 14 pants. That's great. I'm going to bring these back to the table. As I've been talking about, I wanted to get this basement floor uh, repainted, and I did start that. It's going to be a slow process because I have the outside of the house being painted. 
I also painted my bedroom vanity and my bathroom. So I had all these projects at once. This floor got done and I'm going darker gray. This is a lighter gray. This one's probably the last time it was painted was a while ago. I like to keep these floors really clean and from all the movement and the wheeling of racks and stuff, it does get worn out. So I'm just starting the painting and I figured I would start underneath the burner. So all cleaned up in this area. All right. I'm not going to chit chat. I always tell that to myself. Let's go back and see what's next on the list. A basket. This is a small woven wicker basket with a swivel handle. And I don't see that it's a brand name like Longaberger or Petersboro. So I'm going to go into it. It looks to be a small round one. It might be this one right here. Yes, it is. Oh, how cute is this? <laughs> I don't know if this is for a little doll or what. That is adorable. And that one brought $10. Okay, next up, a Patagonia men's sweatshirt. This is a hoodie. And I'm pretty sure this is folded. We're going to go over to the men's side of clothing. And this is the men's uh, clothing here. Well, it's this wall and that wall and then some of that rack. And we're going to look in sweatshirts, grays and blacks sweatshirts colors it's going to be in here red you always notice right away so that is great patagonia hoodie large men's i'm going to bring that over to the table i think i probably paid i'm trying to remember i might have paid eight dollars for this this one brought forty dollars and eighty cents Sometimes you guys ask me why the amounts, the dollar amounts, have a weird ending. And that's because at any given time, I'm running a certain discount sale in my store. So the amount that I charge for something changes with what sale I'm running, just like a regular brick and mortar store. Okay, the next up is a butterfly coffee mug. And that is going to be over here. There's two there should be am i looking right at this i'm probably looking right at it up here it is up here i do believe this is it i just listed this probably less than a week ago along with everything else going on in my life i'm trying to keep up with listings and filming seven dollars that one brought okay the next one is a mid-century modern christmas uh tree topper star 1999 again let's just push this rack in again i just picked this up and it's going to be in my Christmas bin. Now, right now I have two bins, this one, this one. These are ornaments. So I usually keep Christmas ornaments separate from other Christmas things. And yeah, I think it's in this one. I'm going to take a look. Okay, and here it is here. It was in the Christmas bin. And I must have had this maybe less than two weeks. I believe I paid $3.99 and it brought $19.99. Next up is a Tommy Bahama four extra big floral button front shirt. It's silk, uh, so it's four X big, seventy-one ninety-nine. This is a men's shirt. We're gonna look in button. I call them button downs, but you guys have taught me that a button down means the collar is buttoned down, and if it's buttons down the front, that means that it's a button up. I was confused because in eBay's original item specifics, I think they had that reversed, believe it or not. And for years, that's what I called it because every day when I was listing, I was clicking off that item specific. But you guys are right. A button down is where the collar is buttoned down. This one does not have a button down collar, but it is a button front, $71.99. I'm going to pull this spin. All right. This is the button front. This is Rain Spooner. Uh, button front shirts. Lots of prints. I keep the solids separate. Up oh, here it is here. I love printed items because they're so easy to identify when you're looking for them, especially when the bins are filled. So $71.99, great profit. I paid $4.99. Soft surroundings, it's top uh, size large velvet tunic pullover, $26.40. I'm just gonna take a quick look in here. I think it's probably packed. For some reason, my mind is thinking. I think just because I have a lot of purple right now. Yeah, I think it's in the bin. Let's go over to the bin side. So if you're new here, these racks, there's two straight racks back there, are items that are either waiting to be folded or the last one is winter coats. I won't fold those. They take up too much room in the bins or totes, I should say. Soft surroundings, it's a large and it's solid. Let's put the top on this bin so I can use that to put it on 
shirts, large solids. I think it's going to be in here. Okay, so this is what the bin looks like. Soft surroundings, large velvet top. Ooh, this is a pretty one. Okay, and again, most women's tops, I'm paying between $4.99 and $5.99. I usually don't go much higher unless it's something that's really, you know, will bring a high profit like a Johnny Was or, you know, or a designer brand. Okay, let's go to the next item. Here is a nightgown that I just listed a couple of days ago. This is Ula Popkin. I love Ula Popkin. I think her stuff is so nice. I don't even know if Ula still owns the company. A reindeer, just a cotton nightgown in like a plum purple. And this one brought $26.40. A lot of times nightgowns, lingerie, things like that are less expensive than I'm going to call it street clothing. So I'm always sure to look in that department of any thrift store. Another thing that I just uh, listed, Bob Mackey's wearable art sweater. And hopefully I either put it on here. It is a red sweater with like a feather print. Let me see if I can find this. I should really pull the plastic off. Okay, it was on this side. We have an extra hanger. So here it is here, new with tags. And like I said, it's a zip up cardigan sweater. That's what it looks like. And Bob Mackie, wearable art. I don't pick up all Bob Mackie. The more blingy, the better. That's what I feel like Bob Mackie wearers want. They want something really bold and pretty. And this one is a pretty one. Uh, did I say $35.99? And I believe I paid $6. All right, we have quite a few more. I'm not going to do them all. I think I'm going to leave this part of the video there. You get the idea. And I'm going to be pulling shipping for quite a while. But I did want to give you a snapshot of what it's looking like. And I love when it's clothing so much easier than the big breakables. But a lot of times I'm picking up the big breakables because we know where the profit is. All right, guys. So that is this part of the video. Stay tuned. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to give you a shot of what the house looks like. Like I said, I am in the middle of painting the outside of the house. Uh, the other day, was that yesterday? <laughs> it was yesterday. Um, Lisa, my daughter Lisa was here and Roger was here and the three of us we're putting on the first coat of primer. We didn't quite finish the house, but we put in a good work day. And then today I did not do painting because it was raining, but I'll give you a snapshot of what the progress is looking like. All right. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all the encouragement. You guys are so great to me and I really appreciate it. A special shout out to Donna and Debbie, who I met in Goodwill two days ago in the uh, Lancaster Goodwill when I was filming. Sweethearts of girls um, who recognized me and came over and said hello. So hello to you, Donna and Debbie. And um, I was so happy to meet you. All right, let's keep going with the video. So today is day three of painting the outside of the house. Well, up until now, we've only primed the house. What a lot of work. <laughs> This is the paint that I bought. I had asked you guys what color you think I should make my house, and most of you said a white. Now, when I looked online for different whites, I never realized how many white paint colors there are in this world, but we are going with the emerald grade Sherwin-Williams alabaster. Alabaster is like a neutral white. That's all I got to say. So the white that you're going to see on the house, I'm going to bring you outside, is the primer. Super, super bright. And I'm sure my neighbors are freaking out thinking, why did she paint her house neon white? I mean, it glows. Okay, I'm just going to throw some boots on and bring you outside to show you what the house is looking like. Now it is not raining, but I find that throwing boots on is so much easier than tying shoes because I take off my shoes when I come in. All right, everything is really scrappy looking, so don't mind the condition of things. We have been just setting up tables and paint pans and paint sprayers. This is what the house is looking like right now. I will insert photos of what it looked like before we started the priming in case those of you who are new have not seen this house. This is the house I bought seven years ago to sell eBay out of. I have almost completely renovated the whole inside of the house. The roof is new. The heating system is new. The kitchen is new. All the walls got de-wallpapered. Everything has been painted. All the trim work. Yeah, just lots and lots of work inside. And Lisa even got up on the roof and painted the chimney. Now, like I said, this is just the primer. And I'm going to bring you around the side. We took out all of the hedges. We, meaning Lisa, did it. 
Good morning, Miss Painter. Good morning. <laughs> so Lisa is just taping the windows now. Most of this primer was put on by hand paintbrushes. So Lisa, Roger joined in also, and myself painted the whole surface pretty much with roller and brushes. We did do a little bit of spraying yesterday. Now, for those of you who are going to freak out and say, why did you paint the beautiful stone? This is not real stone. This is called permastone or a cast stone from the 50s. They invented this for people that wanted their homes to look like a castle, king of the castle. But what happened over time is the stone's coating, you can see it here, started to chip off. So we did power wash the house and all of the surface paint, I'm gonna call it, see this, has started to get brittle. So all of this was power washed off. I have to all of this cleanup to do. And um, we also brushed it and bought a special primer, hopefully to negate any more of that paint being lost. So this is what the house looks like. As you can see, Lisa is just taping all of the windows because we are spraying the paint today. I'm very excited. Now up top, I have aluminum trim. That's all gonna be replaced by a company. I'm probably just gonna put in, I don't know, maybe a vinyl siding of some sort. I haven't made that decision yet, but I think I'm just going with white trim again. I was gonna do a gray, but I don't know how that's gonna look. All right, let's go around the back. You can see cardboard put up to protect the fence. Gutters are off. Okay, so all of these hedges got trimmed continually every year. I was trimming these huge hedges and then I said, you know what, these have got to go because they were almost three quarters the size of the house. So Lisa came in and cut all of those down. All of these stumps will be taken out. This is the house with one coat of primer back here. Most everything being, you can see here, we did try the sprayer. I picked up a sprayer and uh, Lisa sprayed this yesterday, protecting all the windows and trim. So a little bit of overage, but not bad. Okay, so that is what things are looking like. So no, I did not paint the house this bright, bright white. This is the primer, but it's looking really good. And you know, it's not until I started painting that I really realized how bad it was. <laughs> Sometimes you just get used to living with things. All of this was covered. The window wells to the basement were covered. Those are gonna be changed somehow. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna make permanent covers for them. And like I said, see the aluminum siding? This is all from 1950, 51. That's when the house was built and all of that is coming off. Yeah, so this is what it looks like coming around. This is just some mesh chicken wire that I grabbed and put over those window wells so that animals don't fall in. It's like a, I'm gonna say like a two foot drop. So one day a little bird fell in and I said, oh, that's not good. So I've been putting this chicken wire over the window wells to protect the animals. And coming around, this is what this looks like. This is all new garden this year. I have a little bit of weeding to do. Uh, put in a little tiny, just a stone walkway, and we usually set up chairs here. Roger and I sit out in the evenings, or my girlfriend Patty, or Lisa and I. So here is the shot. Let me back up. I'm gonna walk all the way to the street. These are all the leaves that I have been blowing and raking. The town picks up all of these leaves. Hopefully they pick them up soon. All right, so this gives you a good shot of what things are looking like. And if the white wasn't so bright, I don't know that I'd mind this white. Now, some of you have suggested putting shutters on the house. The problem is shutters would fit on the main window here, but would not fit for that little window. And it wouldn't, they wouldn't fit for the dining room window, that's the window that I film YouTube videos in front of. And for those of you who have been with me since the beginning, this is the garden that I put in uh, when I took the cherry tree out. There was a big, just dying cherry tree that was always dropping limbs. All right, guys, I figured I'd give you a snapshot of what things are looking like with the house primed. And like I said, this primer um, is meant for this fake stone. It's like a masonry 
So they're just like, these are thin. It's really a trick. This is not real stone. But yeah, and also having this replaced. So just working on the outside, really pleased with the progress. And today we start the alabaster white, which will be much quieter. But all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.